Hi, I'm Mel Kloosman, and I'm in my garage over Christmas break, and I'm wanting to get the go-karts out here pretty quick as soon as the snow gets off, and I'm going to... Uh, mine's a methanol, about an 18 horsepower, and it, they're always hard to start if you don't put them away uh, right, and I probably didn't put mine away right in November. But what you have to do to get, first just to get them, get them sucking fuel again, put some uh, WD-40, and this is a Tillerson carburetor, so it's methanol, and I'll also put some uh, WD-40 down in here so it gets to the fuel pump underneath here. I do have a carb kit here from uh, Tillerson, uh, Russell supplies that for me and it works pretty well. I make sure I have the gas on. I've unplugged the plug because I just want to start pumping fuel up in here and it may run in but uh, it's good if it's been setting in a certain place for a couple of months. So now I'm going to fire it and it shouldn't fire. I'm trying to get it to uh, There you go. You can see right in through here. It just got that WD-40, so I'm going to go just a little bit more. And uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, open this up again. And I'm actually going to see if this pop-off valve is popping off. And uh, I put a little WD-40 in this Tillerson pop-off valve. You want it to go up to a certain poundage and then pop off. I haven't did this yet, so uh, probably be a little bit different. Now I'm going all the way. I'm about up to 15 pounds. There, it popped off just a little bit. Okay, should pop down to about eight. We're still at above 12, so I'll probably pop it off one more time. There, it's popping, and you see some stuff out. Now it's still not there, but uh, you have to do this a few times to get everything lubed up in there. And it's a booger. Don't break those because uh, they're pretty hard to get sometimes. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and try it one more time and get it pumped in there before I put a plug on it. Okay, it sounds like it's pretty good compression. Now next, I'm going to have to have somebody help me hold the brake just in case uh, methanol jumps up real high for about 4,000 before it settles down to 2,500. So I'll be back with you in a second. I'm back with you. I've got a little gasoline. I don't like to set my methanol carburetor up or motor without uh, just a squirt of gas in there. That gets it primed good. Not too much. Okay, now we're going to fire this up, and uh, this is the first time in probably, oh gosh, several months. So, and I've got a brand new plug. Here was the old plug on. You can see that it uh, needs to be cleaned and past life. It's a Denso uh, U11. You holding her? Thanks a lot for watching the movie. See ya. We're not gonna hear a thing. We're not gonna hear a thing.